Have you ever been confused by a man's behavior? Like you weren't 100% sure if he wanted to be in a relationship or not? Well, in today's video, I am going to break down seven things that a man will do when he wants a relationship with you. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. So since the dating pool is a little interesting these days, I often get people wanting to know how can they decipher if a man wants to be in a relationship with them or not. And I get it. So while this is a little hard to decipher for some people, I want to break down these seven things. Again, this is not an exhaustive list. There's plenty of more that I could have added, switched or changed, but I want you to comment below. Let me know what are some of the things that a man has done for you in the past when he wanted a relationship. And for the men, let us in on the team. When you want to be in a relationship with somebody, what do you do? What do you say? Let's talk about it. So the first thing that a man will do when he wants to be in a relationship is he will tell you, I think oftentimes we try to decipher and decode and read body language and all of these weird and unclear things. From what I understand and from my history, personal and seeing clients, when a man wants you, he will tell you, he will make it known, honey. He is not going to run the risk of another man coming to swoop in and take his prize. The second thing that a man will do when he wants to be in a relationship is that he will initiate quality time. Now y'all know I have had plenty of conversations on my channel about the different love languages. And even though quality time may not be everybody's love language, when a man wants you, he wants to spend as much time as possible with you. So he will create dates. He will pop up at the crib. He'll create ways to talk to you. He will try to figure it out because he enjoys being in your presence. And this isn't just about kicking it and hanging out and having fun, but essentially he's trying to get to know you on a deeper level and connect with you way past the superficial phase. The third thing that a man will do when he is interested in you and wants a relationship is that he will remember details about you. Now, I don't care if he got good memory or not, but trust and believe, bro, will start to remember things that you have said in regards to your likes your dislikes, your wants, your needs, your goals, your favorite candy, your favorite color. Like he will just start to remember the small things about you and he will try to implement those things. He will try to get those things for you. He will try to bring that back up in conversations to let you know that he was paying attention and that he has been basically uh, learning you. He has been basically uh, studying you. Cause ladies know we love a man who pays attention. We love a man who pays attention to details. Now, honey, you better know my favorite hobby, my favorite color, my favorite food, my favorite whatever. The fourth way that a man will show you that he wants to be in a relationship is that he will express affection. Now you guys know that men are a little bit more physical and women are a little bit more emotional. But from what I understand, men will express affection. And this is also shown through his words, but also his actions. Y'all know I'm big on both and over here. He can't just be telling you without showing you and he can't be showing you without telling you. So these things have to be congruent. And I'm talking about expressing compliments, showing physical affection, whether that's cuddling, holding hands, wrapping his arms around you, putting his arms around your waist, whatever. The gestures of kindness and showing his admiration and his interest in you is why he would express affection, you know, not expressing affection and not having those things. It can make you feel like the person don't like you sometimes. So when a man is doing that and he's making an intentional effort to do those things, please believe that is a good sign that he might be moving towards a relationship. The fifth thing that a man will do when he wants a relationship is he will invest in it emotionally. Like I mentioned before, we know that men are a little bit more physical and women tend to be more emotional. But when you start to have a man who is sharing his thoughts and his feelings, even if it doesn't come easy to him, he is still making attempts. He is making effort. He is trying to express himself to you and not be so closed off and, you know, feeling like it's just him against the world. When he lets you in and kind of just like allows you to see the softer side of him, Please understand that that means he trusts you. Please understand that that means he is bringing down whatever walls he has to put up when he goes out into the world. But when he's back with you, he feels safe. 
He feels like he's home. He feels like he doesn't have to, you know, be masculine and be Superman all of the time. He can just be chilling in your presence. Just like he's doing all these things with you, you should also be doing these things with him too. It's all about reciprocity and making sure that both parties are pouring into each other as much as possible. And this is through the good times and the bad times too. The next thing that a man will do when he wants to be in a relationship is, oh, and by the way, instead of it being seven, I got a bonus for y'all. It's going to be eight. So make sure you stay to the end because that one's juicy too. So the sixth thing that a man will do when he's interested and wants a relationship is he will be reliable. Oof. Women, don't we love a reliable man? Put in the comments if you love a man that you can depend on, that you can trust, that keeps his promises, that keeps his commitment, essentially that keeps his word. Honey, that's the sexiest thing that a man can do over here for me. I love somebody that's dependable and trustworthy and knows that they got me, right? If they say, hey, Keandra, I got you. Don't worry about it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I can trust that those things are going to get done. I won't have to be like looking over. Here, are you sure you're going? Well, I could pick up the no, 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 no. If you say it, <laughs> word is bond is done. And if we're honest, this can be on a larger level or a smaller level. So it can be as something as big as say, for instance, if you're an entrepreneur and you have an event or something, or there's a family death, or there's something that's really, really important to you, him showing up and being reliable and keeping his word is important, but also the small little teeny tiny things too. If he say, oh, I'm gonna text you back when I get done working out, or I'm gonna come to your house before I go home tonight at seven, or I'm gonna text you in the morning, or I'm gonna call you on my break at lunch, whatever he promises, the plan and the goal is for him to keep that, right? And so when a man does that, that really shows that he's invested in you. He's trying to go deeper. He wants you to know that you can trust him because that is one of the most foundational things that anybody in any relationship can have is trust. If you don't have trust, baby, you ain't got nothing. The seventh way that you know a man wants to be in a relationship is he will put in effort. And I know you're probably like, well, didn't we talk about this kind of sorta already? But no, this one is a little bit different. This is a desire to want to keep the relationship interesting, to keep the spark alive, to find new creative ways for him to connect with you and to learn you in different seasons of the relationship. And it's cute and all to have like little special surprises and stuff, but this also is when things get a little bit tough and things get a little bit hard or there's a disagreement or something is just y'all are not on the same page, he is making effort to be honest and to communicate with you and to share his thoughts and feelings. He's not perfect, but he's putting in that effort to let you know like, okay, I'm still here. I still want this. I still want you and I'm going to do what I need to do in order to make that happen. Baby putting in effort is a good sign. And the bonus, this is the eighth thing that a man will do if he wants a relationship, and that is introducing you to his loved ones, specifically family and close friends. When he starts bringing you around and introducing you to mom and to cousin and to siblings and to extended family and to the homie and to his, you, when he starts doing that, that should be an indicator to you to let you know that he wants you in his world. He wants you in his circle. He does want to put in the effort for you to be included into his world. And it's beautiful because it's moving beyond just a one-on-one -on -one situation. Oh, we at the house. Nobody know you here. We went on this date. Nobody really knows that we're out. No, this is moving way past that. This is, I'm introducing you to my family and to my friends, which oftentimes can mean but not all the time, it can mean that he's serious and wants something long-term with you because typically most people ain't introducing a whole bunch of people or shouldn't be. But introducing a whole bunch of people to their mama every week. Oh, I got a new girlfriend every week. Oh, I'm dating this new chick. And your mama's like, girl, boy, stop bringing them over here. Only bring over the ones that's gonna last. <laughs> and so it's important to understand that that could be a really great sign that he wants a relationship when he starts integrating you into his world, into his space. And you doing the same thing with him. When you start introducing to each other's, 
Loved ones? Oh yeah, this is definitely the plan and the goal is that it's definitely going somewhere. So let me give my final thoughts on this. While there are so many things that I could have said and done in this video and a whole bunch of other things that I could have listed, I wanted to name these things because they're kind of on the fence sometimes. These are the areas where men, they sometimes do those things or they may not and it leaves the woman or the other partner just a little bit confused, right? And while there are men who can do all of these things and still don't want a relationship, or a man who does none of those things and desires a relationship, each situation is different. So I don't want you to have this as a rule of thumb and say, Keandra said, if you don't do these eight things and you don't want to relate, I don't want you to be that rigid. But I, but I do want you to look at those things on this list and pick out a few. And if you're seeing, oh, he's doing this and that, oh, he did this too. Okay. Then that can give you a little bit of confidence that you could potentially be on the right track with making this official and being in a relationship. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. Hope you stick around and watch some other videos and I will see you next time. Be blessed.